We can arrive to mixed reviews, but I have two decks that are sure to be a winning time. We can reads on reveal if you spent all of your energy this game, plus two max energy. The first deck we have up is a hybrid blend with Wiccan and Loki. From the jump, I will say this is a pretty difficult deck to pilot. You have to be able to navigate whether you want to go the Loki route, the Wiccan route, both, or a alternative alternative route. That alternate route is actually Nick Fury with Quinjet, which allows you to play a six cost card on turn five and then another on turn six in combination with Nick Fury. There's Kitty Pride. She allows you to more consistently be able to trigger Wiccan. And shout out to KM Best for providing this suggestion. There is Sunspot to make sure our unused energy doesn't go to waste. And there is Nico, who really her draw two spell allows you to draw into Wiccan, assuming you can play her at the right time with that spell. If you don't have Nico, my suggestion is to use Maria Hill. Zabu allows you to play Wiccan on turn three or in your very alternate game plan, Nick Fury. Psylocke allows you to do the same thing. In addition, if you play Psylocke on turn four, you now have six energy on turn five and you can play six cost cards on turn five and then again on six. There is Shang-Chi. You will hear me call him Sean. That's a movie reference. He is just too good at cleaning up big power cards on your opponent's side of the board. The first big six cost we have in our deck is Red Hulk. And the next is Alive for when we have priority going into the last turn to completely nullify our opponent's game plan. If you don't have either of those two six cost cards, any big power cards will do from Giganto to Infinite to... Dr. Doom, Leader, anything you want. And circling back to Nick Fury, he also provides you three random six cost cards who can really come in handy. Let's get into the games. Okay, first up we have Munchlax, a decent starting hand. Okay, so are we going to be able to draw a two drop? I will get Quinjet down first. We are going up against a normal size deck. Looks like a Silver Surfer deck. Playing Wiccan into Bar Sinister would be hilarious. Do I turn off Bar Sinister? I think I turn off Bar Sinister. I'm able to fill out the curve. I'm going to snap into this. I have all of the tools I need. Yes, I will get Wiccan down on four, but I have a turn three play in Loki. If this is a Silver Surfer deck, Camp Lehigh really helped me out. <laughs> and so we will see what the location turns into. Luke's Bar, that is no fun. I will play Loki to the right. And then that is where I will play Wiccan as well. If I draw into Nick Fury, I can't draw into Nick Fury. <laughs> C4, wow. Okay. I can play Claw and Mystique? And then buff that with Surfer? I think I want to fill up right so I don't have something pulled that I don't want to. So they did the smart move of spreading out their Cerebro and Mystique to avoid to avoid any uh, one, one location hits as far as Enchantress goes. Get down Sunspot and Eliath? I know they're going to play left. Do they play it all right? And my last turn is Claw and Mystique. And Surfer for the Loki? So I think I will do it this way. Yeah, let's go this way. <laughs> the they did not were not pleased at how long I was taking. Okay, let's see what pull they get. <laughs> not the claw they were looking for. <laughs> not turn a touch too late. So I think I just do Claw, Mystique, 
and Surfer adds more points than just soaking on Sunspot. Play out Surfer, and that also buffs Mystique, but that's not going to be enough to win left in all likelihood. And uh, let's see how this plays out. Okay, and then Havoc. But that shouldn't be enough with the Soak, and we got the Claw and Mystique, a fantastic first game win. Can I math? <laughs> I think I can math. They get eight, and that won't be enough. Oh. Close, but no cigar. Spreading out the Mystique and the Cerebro means they couldn't just tank a lane, which worked to their benefit. Well, actually, if they had played Cerebro left and went hard for right. But... With the Loki play, with the extra energy, you got to see Sunspot Soak, you got to see Wiccan and Loki in action together and how that can work. And this was a very straightforward game plan. We drew everything we needed. And now let's get to the games where we draw nothing we needed. Okay, next up we have Silent Wolf. Castle Blackstone for an early Loki. This is a Thanos deck, so they have a lot of good cards. Let me see if I can't get the Class of Blackstone bonus. Okay. No Castle Blackstone bonus for anyone. <laughs> we get more one-cost cards in our hand. The Nico Destroy is nice in that I can draw into Wiccan, potentially. So I will destroy the Sunspot? Or the kitty. It depends what I draw into. We will destroy the sunspot. I don't know what I'm going to draw into. And rather than go with hope, we'll play what we have in our hand, which is the Loki game plan. Baxter building. Okay, this is why we don't play into hope. I will get down the Loki. I have a Lyoth in hand, so I'd like to gain priority. So I will get the Loki down right. The Mockingbird is nice. Get down a Vibranium and just a Psylocke. Psylocke and Mockingbird? I'll get Psylocke down here because I need to think about my next two plays, five and six, so it's going to be a Mockingbird and something else. And I also want to try and hedge my, my game plan so if it does flip, I can win other lanes, but that may not be possible. But also, they have a lot of tiny cards, so it also might actually be possible. But that would also require me pivoting now. I could also steal with Rogue. Do I pivot? I will play down the Mockingbird. Get the Kitty. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sold on how this game is playing out. I'm kind of committing right. Systems okay. go. So do they have a large enough card? I do have priority. But they also could just play a large card middle. And that would do it. So the the somewhat weird play would be to slam the Eliath middle. But that is super risky. Nobody has snapped. Part of me was thinking to grab the Kyra with Rogue. That may have been the better option. And then on the last turn I could Sean. Or leaving that ability open for me. But I didn't. 
and I cannot destroy any of their cards, so we will retreat. Escaped. Next up, we have Nevernom, and uh, boy, was that the god draw, or was that the god draw? But that is okay. I'm actually going to play into the unknown. And they have a big card deck with Scar. They have Thanos. So we are going to take a lot of their big cards with Loki. So we, we're still situated. Boy, this game just is hating me. <laughs> we are still going to play into the unknown. The best draw here is probably... Quinjet, and then I can play both Quinjet and Loki. They snapped, probably because I'm losing Sunspot into Murder World. But the fact that we have Loki is fantastic. And we also have a last turn Eliath, which is great as well. So we will just get our Loki down right because of the Stark Tower. And we will just try to overpower them right. And then potentially play the Eliath to clean up what we need to later. They have Marvel Boy, but uh, they don't have any one-cost cards in their deck that they brought in because Thanos adds the stones. So Marvel Boy is probably a dead draw. I will play out the Nick Fury for stats. Next turn, I will play out the Marvel Boy. Uh, I mean the... Yeah. And... Heroes something else i could yolo a oh i don't have the extra energy <laughs> yolo the galactus middle okay they change this to the throne room okay let's see next turn scar is nice and that is discounted thanks to the fury i think i get scar down now I want them to be afraid of all lanes. So I will load up left and see what they play there. I may go middle. So they, they have to be concerned with left. If I play Kyera, that forces them to play left. And then a simple Jeff middle. They have seven energy. They haven't drawn their stones really. So what could I lose to? I have priority. If they play one big card right, they can take it. And Kyera adds seven points, one. I'm up by one left. Do they abandon middle? I'm, I'm doing the content play. Dude, I'm doing the content play. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> For the content. Everybody loves a good Galactus. Let's see if this is a single stone or if they went big. The reveal is... So we will never know if the other play was the right play. But this is the power of Nick Fury. I called him the alternate, alternate, alternate win con in the deck. And he came through in spades. I did kind of read what their potential options were. You heard me talking through it. Left was always going to be a slim margin of victory in all likelihood, they were going to play their big card right, again, because that just completely wins, solos that lane, because Nick Fury drops back down to six, and their call, or whatever it was, Red Hulk, just is enormous, and so they easily win that lane. My original play would have won as well, because they didn't play any cards left, which means I would have won left by one, and then the yeah. would have won middle by two. 
So it would have been a slim margin of victory, but we, we had to go for the content play. For the record, my original play would have won. This actually was a more safe game to play out than I was initially thinking. I think I was able to effectively show some of the different play lines with this deck. Again, it's pretty hard to pilot, so just keep that in mind. Wiccan is not a must unlock card, but if this is a, the type of deck that you like, then Wiccan does have a pretty natural home here. And this is a kind of a fun deck to use. It will keep you mentally stimulated if that's something you look for in a deck, because in my experience, it's pretty difficult to pilot. I haven't played much with him and I still need a lot more time with this deck to effectively pilot it, to effectively know when to snap and retreat. During my testing, there were just it was just littered with all kinds of bad misplays just because I needed to get my head wrapped around Loki, who I haven't played much of. I needed to get my head wrapped around Wiccan and the deck composition and what that looks like, what this hybrid mashup is, and how I can forge a third win con with Nick Fury. I also would like to thank all of the members of the channel. Whether you watch to the very end or decide to become a member, I appreciate it all and thank you for all of the support you've shown me and in the comments, with the likes, with the views. I appreciate it all. If you're watching this video on the day it was released, the second Wiccan deck will be in a separate video and if you are watching this after it's been released, go and check out that video now for a different take on a Wiccan deck.